All right, we are on IP addressing lab two. We're already on number three here. We're just going to convert these into binary. So try that out first while I do the same thing up here on my screen and then see if you get it right. If you don't get it right, let me know. Just say, hey, I got something different because sometimes I do these wrong. It takes some thought. I'm going to start with the easy one, the zero. It's just all zeros. 229, I can go to the 128 store. 229 take away 128 means I have $101 left, so I can go to the 64 store. That leaves me with $37, so then I go to the 32 store, and I've got $5 left. I can't afford anything at the 16. I can't afford anything at the eight. I can go to the four store and I have a dollar left over to spend at the dollar store. We got on that pink one, the pink octet. One, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, one. If you add those up, you get two, two, nine. 47, I can't go to the 128 or the 64, but I can go to the 32 store. That leaves me with $15. Cannot go to the 16 store, but I can go to the 8. Now I have $7 left. So I can shop at the 4, the 2, and the 1 with my $7. 116, I can't go to the 128 store, but I can go to the 64s. Now I have $52 left. So I go to the 32 store and spend $32. Now I've got 20 bucks left. If I have 20 left, I can go to the 16 store. Leaves me with $4. So I can't go to the eights, but I go to the fours and I'm out of money. All right, everybody, what do you think of that one? So far so good? Okay, now we cider. Now we put down 21 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the rest become zeros. Close the doors. Ones mean open doors. Zeros mean closed doors. Nothing gets through on the zero octets. So this red octet full of all zeros just becomes zero. This Octet full of black ones means those doors are all open and the number that's above it, which is 229, passes through. This one is all ones, so the number above it, which is 47, passes through. And then the challenging one. The octet that has black ones and red zeros. That's where it gets a little harder. Everything that was up there in the green octet comes through except for one spot. What does it pass? You guys know? It's not an eight. You're close. Yeah, right here. This doesn't pass through because it's it starts to come down, but it doesn't come down. It hits a red zero and it can't fit through. So I have to basically leave him be. He doesn't come through. That is the value of four in decimal. Because this is one, this is two, this is four. So I have to basically take away four and I'd be left with 112. So 229.47.112.0. Next we broadcast. We put 20 ones. One, two, three, four. And then we fill the rest with ones as well. So the network bits become ones and the host bits become ones. The red bits are the host bits. Should have used that terminology earlier. All right, again, when we have an octet that is all ones, it's just the same number, 229. We've got all ones here on the yellow octet, so that's 47. I've got all ones down here on the red octet. So 255, and then I've got a split. 
So if I look at this split, I'm going to actually see if it'll let me drag it. Oh, good. Let me drag it down there. Okay. So I'm looking here. That means everything comes through that was up here. And this becomes a one, and this becomes a one, and this becomes a one. So everything that was up there, the 116, plus this number, 1111, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, what is that? 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, it's 15. So I take what I had right here and add that to it. In other words, I'm going to take this number here, this 112, and I'm going to add 15. Because 1 plus 1, excuse me, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 is 15. So up here, I only let things through right here. Now I'm going to let it through all the way across. So up here, I was letting through about $112 worth of product. Now I'm going to also let through another $15 worth of product, and this becomes $127. Another way to think about that, if you wanted, is to just kind of overwrite and put 1, 1, 1 right here. 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 is equivalent to 127. So that's another way you could think about it, is to take those ones and replace the zeros with ones, if that helps. So to write my range, 229.47.112.0, add 1, which makes 1, and 229.47. Dot 127.254.